I all they all died now. I own the only one. No. We're still alive now. The current dispute is about the location of a low cost housing development of approximately 200 houses, although I'm sure each year that we wait the number of houses needed actually increases. There is a problem in Hawksbank with people owning the home because a lot of people are staying in backyards of their owners or employers. My husband was born here at Hawksbank. Yeah. He's working in the garden. He maintains, he busy maintaining everything in, in the house. It's more than 15 years now. He's been here. I am a domestic worker. We are dependent on uh, Sharon and Brian. This is Brian and Sharon's property, not ours. It's quite a huge problem because once you lose your job or you've got a problem with a, your employer and then he or she can chase you out of the property, of his property, and then you end up having nowhere to go. The problem can be solved once there can be um, a residential area in Hawkes Bay for those people. And recently we've been allocated an area where we can build our houses. On the 12th of December, the Amatola Forest Company lodged an appeal against this decision. I'm frustrated. That's why I'm making that that house for myself. You know, because the government she she not making the housing. I was working to another place where my boss was, and then he was live here in Oxford to go in Pretoria, and then the other one was buying that property. He was bringing her own guy, and then I, w I was decided to come and then build here in, in Ball Point because I haven't got a place to stay. We have to work hand in hand with the forest owner to protect the forest, but also to m make the people have a place to stay. Many of our families are employed by the forest company. Same with tourism. So the people who come here to see Hawks Bay, they want to be taken care in the sense that they need to have food to eat, their beds done, and the same people who does that are the same people who don't have place to stay in Hawks Bay. So I think in both things, we need each other to, to work together, not work against each other. Some of the locals who own the properties in Oxbeck, they didn't want that development to go forward because they were they were claiming that there would be high crime rate once the township has been built and um, also the beauty of Oxbeck will fade away. I hope to have the, the business area where we can start our own businesses and employ more people. The reality is that not everyone in, in Hawkes Bay can get the job because the, B, the, the guest houses, the hotels, the BNPs, the forestry company can't employ everyone. There are still people who are unemployed at the moment. So by having this, it will also create another opportunity. I'm making the BNP here next door to me to making the tourists must be coming here for the this is the black the black community is staying here. The real worry now is the administrative delays. Even if the MEC makes it in our favor and says, I've re-looked at it, I still think the houses can go there. Then they're gonna go the court route. They can hold what I've been saying to Ian is they can hold this up for another five, six years. Another twenty years. So if there's an opportunity today to meet with Amatola Forest Company and I hear that they're making some alternative proposals, to go and discuss the alternative proposals with them, then I would be willing to do that because I think that the longer the community hold out for that site, 
the longer it's going to take them to get housing. So can you tell us what AFC are proposing here uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the alternative site uh, cost contribution, what, what you envisage your role to be? We were waiting more than 30 years and we are still there. Landless house lands, landless people, landless women and landless no men. We are sick and tired of waiting. We are going to go and look at an alternative site that Amatona Forest Company think is suitable for the low cost housing development. It's far this place. So what are they showing us here? They are showing us exactly what they showed us the last time, On top, you know, which was declined. It's a big area and it will easy, easily accommodate the current people living up there. The place will be underwater, but so they'll say they will fix this up you know, for the temporary people to those 20 houses to, to be here. <laughs> but what's why? Why must they move? It is there, though. I see the corner. Because for me, to own your own home, to have your own home is like to own your life. That is, and we need to own our own homes urgently and desperately.